Nettie, I remember that one story when I had to come to downtown L.A. to get my passport. We were leaving out of the country, and I believe I needed to renew my passport. So I came here to downtown L.A. I went to, into this high-rise building, and I needed to go to the 12th floor uh, to get my passport. And I remember I walked into this building, and I went into the elevator. Mm -hmm. I remember I walked in, I pushed 12, uh, uh, floor number 12. Yes. And the elevator went up. And I remember when the elevator door opened on the 12th floor, I was about to walk out. But there was this guy standing outside of the elevator, and he kind of looks kind of spooky. And he looked at me like he's seen something. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, well, this is kind of weird. So I kind of <laughs> went back into the elevator, and I pushed the button, go to the fourth floor, and I went down to the fourth floor. And I remember when the door opened in the fourth floor, there was this guy again standing. Yeah. And I thought to myself, who is this guy? And I remember he walked into the elevator. He goes, hey, don't, don't be startled. Don't be yeah. afraid. But I need to tell you something. When I seen you on the 12th floor, when that door opened, I seen something on you. I seen a glow around you. Yeah. Nettie, I believe he's seen the glory of God, and I got to minister to, to him. I got to tell him, what yeah. you see is God on me. Mm -hmm. Today, That's Nettie, right. I believe we are talking to dreamers. Mm -hmm. I believe we're talking to go-getters, uh -huh. people with vision, people yeah. with passion. That's right. I believe we're talking to people today mm -hmm. who know yeah. they can walk with God. Yeah. We want to welcome you to yeah. Rally TV. We're excited that you have stopped to take a few moments with us because today, Nettie, we're going to talk about our calling in life. I like to yeah. say it this way, our platform. That's right. The platform, the stage God has given every individual yes. in this earth, yeah. a place that we can stand yeah. and announce who mm -hmm. God is to us. Mm -hmm. And you know, you did that on the elevator. You announced to that guy who he was. And who Jesus was and what he saw. Also, you know, he was in getting his passport because he was going to Japan mm -hmm. to do a commercial. Yep. And that's why he, uh, you said dreamers, yes, go-getters. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, Rick's a dreamer and a go-getter. And, and so you, that's where you were going, yes. to Japan. And, and I needed a passport. You needed a passport. And... At that moment, that was my platform. Like that, yes, exactly. And see, our platforms mm -hmm. are designed mm -hmm. for Jesus to That's be right. announced. And now, I'm getting ahead of myself. Know. You got me I all. Know. Now I think I'm bringing, the Lord is reminding me of things because yes. when he went into that commercial, you know, he had, there was an interpreter that went with him mm. and they seen Jesus on the set. That that's, Big time. It didn't just stop there in, in the elevator. Right. It continued to Japan. And I'm going to share that story okay. right now. But let me just say this. I believe God has given each one of us a platform mm -hmm. or a calling in life. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's so important that we invite Jesus onto our platform. Now, yes. let me just kind of uh, just look at some notes okay. here. I believe it's God's will mm -hmm. to establish the work, to establish the platform that he has called us to. It is God's will to establish the calling. Mm -hmm. It is God's will for him himself to step in and to say, let yeah. me help you. Yeah, exactly. I, yes. I, I say this often, but we have been retired mm -hmm. from toiling, mm -hmm. laboring, mm -hmm. struggling, Trying to make yeah. things happen in our life. I mean, I came out of that nature. Mm -hmm. I was telling yeah. our son-in-law the other day, Preston, mm -hmm. I was telling him about my old nature. Mm -hmm. The old, if I could say it, don't get offended, my old Mexican mm -hmm. nature, mm -hmm. I needed to bury into the ground. Yeah, I exactly. needed to be set free from my culture mm -hmm. because it was, it was hindering Limit. me, Limitation. limiting me, from walking in the fullness of God. Now, I don't know about your culture, yeah. but the culture I came from, not all Mexicans yeah. were like me, but the, my culture, where I grew up. Yeah, how you were brought up. Yeah, I was, I was trained to try to make things happen in my, on my own strength. Mm -hmm. We can make it happen. You know, I, I don't yeah. need nobody's help. I'm able to make it happen. Because you but, know how to work hard. Yeah, that thing. but with God, it's yeah. not like that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I, I kind of want to look at the word work, mm -hmm. calling, okay. and platform before we get into uh, another a scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. So when we look at the word work, calling, or platform, mm -hmm. it's talking about the calling in your life. For instance, each one of us have a different calling. Mm -hmm. Some are called to be doctors, mm -hmm. police officers. Mm -hmm. Some are called to, to, be, to work in construction. I have the privilege to work in construction 18 years. My brothers still work in construction. It's a great career. Some are called to acting or singing or dancing to preach the gospel. We all have yeah. a different calling Teachers, in life. Teachers, nurses, we all have our calling. And they're all important. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about platforms, calling, yes. or work, it's talking about what God has called you to do in life. So your calling in your life. Your job, your career, yes. your dreams. Mm -hmm. You mentioned it earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge dreamer. Mm -hmm. I'm always dreaming about great things, how mm -hmm. God can use me. Mm -hmm. I imagine things. Remember, mm -hmm. remember the old cartoon Bobby's World yes. where Bobby used to dream all the time? Oh, we, yeah. we would call our son Eric Bobby's <laughs> yeah. World because uh -huh. he would play with little cars, but he was always dreaming. Mm -hmm. But God puts dreams in us. Yeah. God wants us to believe for the impossible. Mm -hmm. So uh, another platform would be passions. A lot of us have passion. One of my passions, you know, my greatest passion is about Jesus, uh -huh. than, than my wife and my children. But I have a passion for motorcycles. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's one of my platforms. God uses motorcycles in my life mm -hmm. to minister to people. Exactly. Uh, books, for instance, authors. Mm -hmm. Some of our platforms is to write books, mm -hmm. to be author. For, for instance, I'm an author. Now, this is kind of funny, but this is true. Videos, for instance, your YouTube, mm -hmm. you YouTubers yeah, out there. you bloggers. You bloggers, bloggers. <laughs> Listen, that's a calling. That's right. a platform. Mm -hmm. God wants to establish that. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to this. Now, for instance, you might be watching this TV show on YouTube. Mm -hmm. All right? Does it matter? Listen to me. Yeah. Does it matter how many views we get? I will say yes, because it tells me how many people we are reaching with our platform. Yeah, this is right. our platform right now. You watching, maybe hearing it on Spotify or YouTube or uh, uh, rallymen.org uh, mm -hmm. website on television, wherever you might be watching it. This yeah. is our platform. Yeah. God wants to establish this for us mm -hmm. so we can reach more people. So all you vloggers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, bloggers, mm -hmm. YouTubers. Get God involved. Allow him to establish it for you. Exactly. Believe me. All right? I would talk to pastors today. Mm -hmm. You don't need to struggle to cause your church to grow. I know I stepped on a few toes right there. But if you're struggling, you're trying to make it happen on your own. If you're hiring the circus mm -hmm. to cause your church to grow, that means the circus needs to stay. Should I say any more? I should stop there. All right. All right. Um, for those of you that have a song, maybe you're a singing artist, you have your music on iTunes, Spotify. Um, God wants to be a part of it. God wants to establish it. God wants us to bear fruit. I'm trying to help somebody today. Listen, your platform, God is giving you that platform. God wants to use your platform to touch the world. For instance, Nettie, this morning, you know, I got up for prayer. Then I came and asked you if you wanted to have coffee. Uh, you were praying in bed. I went to my study. And I remember when I sat back down there to talk to you, I, I said, Nettie, this is the greatest day in our yes. life. We, we've been waiting for this day. Waiting. Why have Why have we been waiting for this day? Tell well, me why. why? Because we have been in this in this marriage, and this walk with God, and this faith walk for uh, over 36 years. And and God has been good. And when you have something good, you don't want to hide it. Mm -hmm. And you you know, there's people out there, and you watching, you're having, you're wondering how to live in victory in every area of your life. You have dreams, you have desires. Yes. And so we're here for you to help you along the way in your walk with God, because there's no better time than to be living like right now, in this time, mm -hmm. there's so many platforms out there if you're using them for the for the kingdom of God, because God wants to use us wherever we are. This and, is important and to And this us. is important to us, so we wanted to make it available to you, the viewer, the listener, and so that's why we're excited, because 
God can help you in every area. So, Nettie, this is our platform right now in front of these cameras, in yes. front of this, this TV crew. This is our platform. Mm -hmm. We want God to establish it. We yes. want God to take this and make it known around the world, even translate it into different, different languages. Language. I can hear myself speaking in <laughs> German right now, in Russian, in Chinese. Yes. Why, right. not? Why not? That's passion. Mm -hmm. That's a dreamer. Exactly. Amen? Exactly. Yeah. So if you're hearing me in China right now or Russia, this is a dream come true right now yes. in Jesus' name. So, And the beauty, though, Rick, is because we know it works. The word works. We know having faith in God and letting him establish our work and our giving him our hands to work with, yeah. we know it works. We've All right. seen him. So let me say this real quick before the time runs out. Mm -hmm. Also, the last thing I want to say is your social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Listen, your social media platforms, mm -hmm. God wants to be involved. Yes, that's right. He wants to be involved on what you're posting. Mm -hmm. Let him be involved. You want more likes? <laughs> Does God like your posts? That's, right. That's the main That's question. True. Is God mm -hmm. first liking what I'm posting, yeah. what I'm showing? Mm -hmm. Especially today, Nettie, so many people are posting their flesh. Yeah. So many women are, 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 are posting their, their, their body parts. Yeah. And that's not God. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, God's not liking your posts. <laughs> If he's not involved in your post, should I say any more? I better stop. I better move on. Okay, let me say this. Uh, it's God's will to establish the work of our hands. I want to read a scripture. This is powerful. This is Jesus speaking. John 15, 8. It's in red. This is what Jesus is saying. Herein is my Father glorified. Let me rephrase that. In this... In your platform, in your calling, in your work is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit. Yeah. God wants us to bear fruit. He wants us to draw attention to our platforms. Why? So shall ye be my disciples. Mm -hmm. Your disciple, yeah. your, your platforms are crying out. Yeah. It's crying out saying you are a son and a daughter of God. Our platforms need to cry out, Nettie, saying, this is who we are. I'm not ashamed to be called a yeah, child of the Most right. High. I want to use my platform to make him known. Mm -hmm. You shared earlier, Nettie, I, I, I went to Japan mm -hmm. yeah. to film a commercial. I remember while I was there, I had an interpreter. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, the other actor that I was working with was, with was an atheist. Mm -hmm. He didn't believe in God. But I shared the gospel yeah. to him through my interpreter. Yeah. And I remember at the end of me sharing the gospel, he said to my interpreter some words in, mm -hmm. in, in Japanese. Mm -hmm. And my interpreter turned around and said to me, he wants me to tell you. Yeah. He right. might not believe in God, mm -hmm. but he sees something in you. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Jesus wants us to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture is. says, herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. I have a question for you today. Are you bearing much fruit? Are people looking at your platform? Are they saying to you, man, every time I see your post, every time I hear your song, every time I see you, my life is touched. Your life is touching my life. Father, I'm asking you that you would move upon the viewers and listeners, that you would create a hunger and a passion and a desire inside of us to be more like you, that we would use our platform to make you known. And Lord, I'm asking you to bless our platform. Hey, we love you guys. We call you blessed. Continue to watch Rally TV.